Hello YouTubers, uh, I recently went to an auction uh, and I bought a Webley Hawk Mark III air rifle uh, I'd done a previous video on that, fixing it up, eventually got it working and stuff um, probably paid too much and while I was there I bought this lot and I should not bear, I've been wheeling and dealing for years I, I went to an auction and I didn't look at the stuff properly including the air rifle while I was buying Bit of complacency, and oh, you had a quick look, and I thought these were Rain Max, and I thought, wow, you know, a box of Rain Max for. I didn't pay much at all for them. Anyway, and uh, as it turns out, what they are is NBC suits, which are basically nuclear, biological, and chemical protection suits, dating from uh, 1997, 1999, um, 97. This one, um, there's two different sorts: a Mark III and a Mark IV. Um, the Mark III say so small, and I know for right now that none of these are going to fit me because there's a there's another one uh, here which is height 180 or breast 100. Um, it's dated 19 March 1996. And what I'm going to do? I'm going to open one up and. Considering their nuclear, biological, and chemical suits, they really should do as a as a lot of rain make sort of thing. So perhaps I was right. I don't know. We'll find out. So what we'll do is get rid of all the rest of them. And um, I see. I did. I did basically get these for not much at all. So um, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna open this up and um, we'll see. Would it be any good as a rain make suit? for fishing, shooting or whatever and if it is you could probably get these probably ten or less delivered to your door so um, we'll find out now I did a quick look on YouTube and there is quite a few other videos concerning these suits so I'm sort of, this is nothing new but I just thought rather than there's a prepping guide and a good video how to put them on properly and all the stuff that used to come with them and uh, these are pretty well sealed it's like a real hard plastic lump there and I'm probably better off with scissors doing this but let's be careful try not to catch the fabric and, um, let's see what we got so this is trouser protection NBC number one mark four olive okay yeah, a couple of elastic bands. And fabric date February '96. Just had a quick smell of it, and it uh, doesn't smell of anything. I, I thought there might be some sort of horrible smell come out of it. And uh, what I've got here looks like is uh, just the trousers. I thought that was. Uh, each packet had each individual thing. Now what I found out was these have got like an activated charcoal lining. Um, they are waterproof. Um, it feels like a sort of nylon -y material. But they have got this like activated charcoal lining. I guess that's to absorb uh, anything harmful. But I'll tell you what, these feel quite rugged and I think they would probably do as a pair of fishing trousers. Um, you got velcro bits around the bottom, and, uh, so I'm not going to try these on, guys. Because they say there's plenty of other videos out there, um, and there's one guy whose shoe can actually tie him up properly. There's like a inside, won't you? Unhermetically packaged them. <laughs> There's these two strings out the back, and what you do once you got them on, that's all sort of velcro fastening. There's two loops on the front. The strap on the back is uh, is crossed. It's got a cross bit on it. These come over the front. You cross it over on the front. Pass it through the loop that side. This one, this side, and then you just tie a bow knot and uh, your normal sort of shoelace type bow to tighten them up. And um, having a feel of them, they feel quite supple and 
So because they've been hermetically packed, they will take a bit of stretching out. But um, no smell on the inside either. Um, An activated charcoal does take smells away. So if you uh, if you pass gas a lot and you fishing trousers, your bodies would probably be quite happy you got them. So uh, the velcro pockets on the sides, and uh, yeah, they look right. I think. If you had them all unwrapped and passing them off as fishing choices, you could probably get uh, you probably get good money for them. To be honest, yeah, they're different. They're good. Um, so right, that's the bottom. Okay, so that last package did say trouser, and this one says smock. So uh, this is the top height 180, and that is I think it's about five foot eight, five foot ten. Like six foot, so I mean, if they're nice and loose, you never know. That might, I might not waste my money because if one of these works as a rain mac, I'll be happy with what I paid so, for the lot. So, you can get three elastic bands, so, uh, same material, all the paperwork. Now obviously, as a chemical suit, this would be totally useless without the um, respirator. But, oh yeah, there's a nice hood on this. It looks pretty, yeah, look at that hood, guys. Yeah, look at that. Fishing and shooting jacket. I'll tell you what. It might fit me, albeit rather tightly. you got, uh, you got a nice breast pocket there. Apparently this one is coloured different. Because when you got your mask on, you can't be recognised, so you'd have your name written on there for your buddies, so they knew who they talked to. So you'd have your respirator on. The one on the other side is just uh, plain. It's got velcro waist fasteners, and uh, again, this is activated charcoal lined. So, um, so I guess they're metally sealed, and then packs. They, they take some pulling apart. But, um, this is looking like a nice jacket actually. I do believe it's got a, a zip fastener. Oh, there, there we go. Zip and velcro. Keep the chemicals and the nuclear radiation out. <laughs> okay, that's a nice zip. Look at that. Whoa. Right, I'm going to have to try this on guys. I've never worn a activated charcoal lined suit before. And uh, I think because these were probably quite a baggy fit, this might actually fit me. I might not go over my moon bump, but so I'm just getting get the sleeves opened up. You would have to do that before you put it on. Now, on the arms, there's these patches there. And I think that's a type of paper which is an indicator of chemicals or nerve agents. And that's quite interesting. So if you're fishing and that go green, well, you'd be dead. So, <laughs> yeah, strange little feature. I must say, guys, I'm pleasantly surprised about the lack of smell. I've bought sort of certain stuff before. Some of it's done like a stunk, you know. These are all brand spanking new. Nice bit of material. I like it. Right, I'm gonna have to try them. I'll tell you what guys, if you want a shit hot fishing and shooting jacket for not much money, get down your army soap the store or eBay and get one of these uh cheap chips waterproof jackets and trousers so yeah, look at it. Just look at it. Would you just look at it? You got three chemical detectors. You know, if you, you know when you're gonna get nuked and cammed. Just what you need when you're fishing and shooting. Excellent. Put your name on there. You could even put your fish count. Take a little black marker with you. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Look at that. That's in the tanner. 
business. Fancy turning up on the fishing bank or the lake. You'll be the only one there with a charcoal line suit, so ready for any any scenario. Nuclear fish, chemical attacks. If you've got trousers on and you fire they won't smell. Excellent. Just what you need. Those guys, uh, see you again.